So all we have left on this is to build the box envelope, which we'll do at the end. So now we're gonna go on to the right panel. You're going to get a piece of 100 pound black cardstock. If you have it, 85 is fine too. Eight and five, eight and five eighths inches tall by seven five eighths inches wide. You'll put it in the seven and five eighths on top. You're going to score it at three quarters of an inch and one inch. That's going to give us our quarter of an inch gusset, just like we had on the other side. So you're going to fold and burnish those real well. I've already done that. And then you make sure you have a nice crisp um, gusset there. And then I'm going to be applying tape to my three quarters of an inch piece right here. This is going to be adhered to this side of the right panel, one eighth of an inch from the edge. So again, I drew my one eighth of an inch line. So this is going to be aligned like this. So it's going to be centered top to bottom and it's going to be fitting like that. So make sure, sure sure you cover this three quarter inch little piece with score tape and miter your corners here up to that first score line. Just a little miter, don't need much. Do not go into that score line there. And then go ahead and apply this, this flap. So you have this piece in, make sure you burnish it down real well. Next, you're gonna be cutting two pieces. This could be six, 65, 80, or 80 pound cardstock. Um, eight and a half inches tall by five and a quarter inches wide, and you're gonna score it at the five and a quarter inch side on top, a half an inch. And then you're going to fold and burnish and apply your score tape to those little flaps. So you have your two pieces. The score tape's been added, mitered the edges here. Now you're gonna open this flap up, the one you just put in, and this first one you're going to align like an eighth of an inch or so away from this gusset and make sure that it is kind of centered so this flap totally covers it up because that's the, the, the purpose of this flap. This flap is eight and five eighths inches tall, so it should cover it because this is only eight and a half inches tall. So get that about an eighth of an inch away from that gusset and center it top to bottom and pull that tape. So that's what I'm going to do with this side. And same thing with this one. Now this side, you're going to be aligning it a little bit away from this fold line of this 100 pound cardstock. So, and you are going to make sure it is in alignment with this flap. So they are, they're the same height. So there should be even down here and up here. So put this flap in first Guess it doesn't matter which flap you put in, whichever one's easier. If this one's easier for you, put this one in first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those down. So we're working on this right panel. So we got this piece in, this 100 pound cardstock that has the quarter inch gusset. And then we added these two inner flaps like this. 
So next, this is going to, this flap is going to be going over this flap. I should have made them different colors, but hey. So I'm gonna move this one out of the way and so we can just concentrate on this left one. So what you're going to do next is you're going to cut two pieces, and this could be 65 pound black cardstock, five and one half inches by four and one quarter inch. You will put it in your scoreboard with the five and a half inch side up, and you're going to score it at half an inch. You're going to fold that, burnish, and add your score tape. So you're going to do that to both of them. And what I did is I did miter my corners here too. What you're going to do with these two pieces, you're going to line them up to the edge of this flap right here that you just put down. You're going to line it up to this edge and with this edge of the white, well, of this flap down here. If you get it lined up right, these will butt against each other and it will look something like this. So start with one, start with the bottom one, if that's easier for you, get it lined up with the, with the edge of this flap and the line down here and put, put this one in. Did I score the, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down. So getting it lined up there and down here. When it's black on black, it's really hard to see. So this is a little bit better. So that looks lined up pretty well. So that one's in. So next you're going to get, let me get this out of the way. You're going to get this piece, and I haven't mitered this one yet, so. So this one is going to be lined up with this edge here, and lined up with this edge. So they should be essentially almost butting each other, so like this. So can I, without putting my head down, can I pull that tape? I might be able to. It's much easier to see when it's not black on black. So line it up to the edge here and up to the top. Make sure your line is straight so you have these two flaps in. Now we're going to make these into pockets. So you are going to get the same paper you used to make these, the black cardstock. I'm using a different color, so it will show up for you. You are going to get two pieces of the same cardstock that you use for here, four and seven eighths inches tall by five and one quarter inches wide. Okay, and then you're going to put it in your scoreboard with the five and a quarter inch side up, and you are going to score it at a half an inch. Fold and burnish this real well. So what you're going to do is I'm going to turn this this way. I'm going to lift up one of these flaps. And the way this is going to work, you are going to align the top part of this piece with the top part of your flap. 
where you scored it is going to be on one edge here. And what you're going to have is just this little bit of space at the bottom where it doesn't, so this piece does not go all the way to the fold line right here. Can you see that? That's why it's cut four and seven eighths. This, this flap is five inches long, so it's a little bit shorter. So you are going to dry fit it right here so you get that lined up. And then with this side, I'm going to pull it down a little bit. You're going to go, okay, that's where that, that one's going, that fold line. You're going to get a pencil and mark it where the next fold line needs to be. It's probably going to be a half an inch. It should be. Let's see, put it back in our scoreboard, see what it comes out to be. Yes, it's four and one quarter, so it it did work, but I just like to dry measure it. So fold and burnish this one. So what you're going to do, this piece is going to fit back here like this. I am going to miter the corners here once I get my score tape on. Let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to put my score tape on both sides and then I'm going to miter my corners. So I have my score tape on and I'm going to miter just the top part of this pocket. So it makes things easier to slide in. Then you're going to go ahead and line it up with the top, the top edge of this flap. Line it up with your sides and pull the score tape. Pull it over so you don't get any slack in that piece. And now you have your pocket. Now down here, you're just gonna put a bead of a glue, just a little bit of glue to close off the pocket. Of glue down here. There. So now you have this pocket. So you're going to do the same thing with this flap. Exact same thing. And I think we're done with that. So we have our flaps with their pockets in. And was there anything else we did on this for now? We're going to be adding some button tie closures for these flaps to to keep them down, to keep everything down. Um, but we'll get to that when we add our designer paper. So let, let's check to see what we have. So here, here's the album. So here are those flaps with their, their little pockets. Here's this flap that it's on top of. Here's this flap. And here's the inside. So I think we have everything. And here's our button tie closures that we'll be doing when we add the designer paper. So that's it for panel, this, the right panel. So pretty easy compared to the left side.